let's take the example problem, SVD example problem, and let's say we have a matrix X, which are, you know, essentially we have three rows and two columns, and this is what, and we want to write an SVD factorization of this matrix. Then how do we go about doing that? Okay, so what we can do is the first is I can create a matrix A, which is essentially X multiplied by X transpose. So if you take this matrix, if you take a transpose of this matrix and multiply them, you will get this matrix and let's call that matrix as A. Then what we do is we use the eigenvalue and eigenvector, uh, you know, and we find out the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix A. So if you go ahead and do that, you know, we essentially will be solving this problem and how to do eigenvalue and eigenvectors. We have talked about that in one of the previous lectures. So essentially we are solving eigenvalue problem for matrix A, okay? Once we solve the eigenvalue problems for matrix A, we will get certain eigenvalues and let's say, you know, for this has three eigenvalues which are lambda equal to one, nine, lambda one equal to nine, lambda two equal to three, and lambda three equal to zero. Now, corresponding to each eigenvalues, we will have some eigenvectors. So corresponding to eigenvalues lambda one, we will have eigenvector V1, which is given by this vector right here. Similarly, corresponding to lambda two, we will have eigenvector V2, which is given by this vector. And then similarly to lambda three, the eigenvector will be given by this value. Okay, so corresponding to each of the eigenvalues, we have corresponding eigenvectors. So now from this information, what we can do is we can take this X and we can write, again, we can take this and now we can create a matrix B, right? Where now we have reversed the order of matrix multiplication. So we are using X transpose times X, not X transpose X, tra X times X transpose, all right? So we have reversed this order. And if you reverse this order and do this multiplication, we will call that matrix of the B. And if you take this, and if you take the X transpose and multiply that by X, we will get this matrix, which is denoted by this, you know, matrix B here. And if we solve the eigenvalue problem for matrix B, right, we will get certain eigenvalues and eigenvectors and we will store that too. So essentially the next step would be taking the B and solving the eigenvalue problem for B and finding out, you know, the eigenvector. So if you go ahead and find out the eigenvalues here, the eigenvalues will be lambda one equal to nine, you know, lambda two equal to three and corresponding to this eigenvalues, for lambda one, the eigenvector is going to be this vector. And then for lambda two, the eigenvector is going to be minus one by two square root two and one divided by root two. So this will be the second eigenvector associated with lambda two. So these are the two information. So we, what we did, we took X, we converted that into A from there, X times X transpose gave us A, X transpose times X gave us B, we solved the eigenvalue problem for A and B, and we found out the corresponding eigenvectors and eigenvalues, and that's what we're storing. And now we can use that values to do the SVD or support vector decomposition. So let's say, what is X? X is U sigma V transpose, right? So how do we write V, right? So this is essentially, if you take X, it is factorized into three matrices. So assembling what we have conveyed before, what are this sigma? So sigmas are essentially the square root of the different eigenvalues that we have found out. So sigma is a square root of eigenvalue that we have found out, right? So combining the derived eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix X, what we can do, whatever the information that we accrued in the previous two slide, we can, you know, use that. And from there, what we can do is we can take the three eigen vectors which were associated with matrix A or which was associated with the uh, X times X transpose operation, list that there. And then we take, you know, uh, you know, nine and take a square root of nine, that's three. We take three and take a square root of three, that gives me its root of three and we list it here. And then we take the eigenvectors associated with matrix B or X transpose time X and we list them here and that gives us the matrix factorization. So you can take this matrix and now you can write this matrix as a, you know, multiplication of eigenvectors in A, eigenvectors in B, and whatever is the common eigenvectors across both of them, they form essentially the different diagonal elements of the sigma matrix. So using the information that we have got, after doing the eigenvector, uh, eigenvalue problem solving for matrix A and B, we can, you know, decompose a given vector, a given matrix into 
three different product of three different matrices, which is here is u, here is what we have sigma, and here is what is v transpose. So this is support vector decomposition, and this is the decomposition that you can do for any given matrix. Okay.